Zhang Bangdebeld after the worst defeat in golf history. Since when did we only pay attention to the winners? We all know behind the heroic stories of the winners, there are countless losers whose stories never drew attention or been mentioned. Today, let's turn the clock back to 30 years ago and look into a story of a man who experienced the most disastrous defeat in golf history. Not by his opponent's glorious triumph, but because of his unimaginable collapse at the very last moment. The Open Championship, which boasts the longest history among the world's four major tournaments, started 160 years ago at Prestwick Golf Club on the west coast of Scotland. The Open Lota and its Lynx courses, where the Open Championship is held, are infamous for its difficulties due to the unpredictable weather, hard and fast playing surface, and deep pop bunkers that you cannot easily get out of. The Open Championship has been a place for underdogs. There are days when everything works out for the best, just like magic at the field. And even for professional golfers, this magic happens all the time. However, there is a big difference between recreational play and the tournaments because tournaments are held for not a single day, but four days. Therefore, it is very hard for such magic to last that long. The story of Zhang Bangdebeld is a good example as he suddenly appeared as a dark horse overnight and received the world's attention. But unfortunate as it seems, his story didn't close with a happy ending. Zhang Bangdebeld was born in Montmarsan in southwestern France in 1966, the youngest of five. He started playing golf by badgering his father for a month one summer when he was six, and although his family was concerned about him playing golf as a career, he pushed and went on. Perhaps the beautiful scenery of the golf course, an adventurous walk among the woods chasing a little tiny ball, and being able to enjoy the time to himself while practicing must have attracted young Zhang. After playing on the European tour as an adult, he competed in the 1999 Open Championship at Canusti, Scotland. Zhang was an unknown player on the world stage. As golf was not a popular sport in France, his family, relatives, and Montmartre Golf Club members in his hometown were perhaps the only people who cheered for him as he flew to Scotland. Back in 1907, a long time ago, a French player named Arnaud Messi won the Open Championship, but even French would not remember that victory anymore. As Jean ranked 24th with 75 strokes on the first day, everyone congratulated him, saying, You've done well enough. They probably thought he kept the French pride by not finishing last. Then signs of a historical event arose on the second day that could have almost changed his life. Zhang took the lead by scoring 68 while the world-class players struggled with the difficulties Canusti bring about. Who is Zhang Bangdebeld? Even the most experienced sportscasters were completely unaware of his existence. It's no wonder that everyone was surprised by this unknown player, ranked 152nd in the world, coming to sudden prominence, and even continuing to play aggressively with his godlike skills on the third day. The news spread out to his home country, France, and in a word, it was a blast. His hometown was thrown into a feverish excitement even before he actually won the title and the French press sent a fleet of journalists over the Strait of Dover to Scotland. Canusti's final hole is notorious for being the most challenging closing hole in the open lota. A deep ditch called Berry Barn traverses the fairway twice on its left and right. Both the tee shot and the second shot must be accurate to complete the round. On the last day of the tournament, Bang de Belle, who took the lead by three strokes before the final hole, was able to win the championship with just a double bogey. He was in a situation where he could change his fate by walking 160 steps from the teeing ground to the green with decent play. 
And even if he used a pitching wedge three times to get on the green and three putted to a bogey, he could win. But Bangdabeld never backed down and pulled out a driver just like the day before. Did he realize something was wrong as he hit the tee shot? The camera turned its angle as soon as it captured Zhang's anxious look on his face and chased the ball off the fairway as it flew into the 17th hole on the right. Fortunately, the ball, which almost fell into a berry bun, stopped in the rub. And the commentary from the broadcasting booth came out as, what a lucky player. A wise golfer would never retake a risk in such a tense situation. But Zhang was different. Holding the long iron again, he aimed the green and hit the ball from the rough. From that moment, an unbelievable scene unfolded. The ball, which deviated to the right once again, hit the railing of the stand full of gallery, bounced off, hit the ditch wall once more, and then flew backward and fell into a deep lough. What is going on here? said Peter Ellis, a famous golf commentator, feeling sorry for John, saying someone had to give him proper advice. Thousands of gallery followed the Bang the Bell to witness what would happen next. And in the clouds' cheers, he once again tested his luck. Instead of playing safely, he decided to aim at the green from the deep rope directly. His gulping brain stopped about 10 minutes ago, I think. After Peter Ellis comments, Bang the Bell hit the ball out of deep love. And the ball fell into the water. People started laughing here and there. Even Zhang's wife was caught on camera with an awkward smile. I don't believe it. This is really, this is so, 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 so sad. And so unnecessary, Peter Ellis sighed. Then Zhang took his shoes off and went into the water to take a shot. Oh, Zhang, 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 what on earth is he doing? This really is beyond a joke now. This is pure madness. As the remark came out from the booth, Zhang finally gave up and came out of the ditch. From then on, Zhang played his fifth shot into the greenside bunker and hit the sixth out onto the green. It was a fiasco for a while and Zhang was left with a difficult putt to extend the match to a playoff. Before he made the stroke, everyone was praying, please make the putt, please. And as he did, he held his fist firmly with a bit of joy and so much anger. But shortly after that moment, he lost the Open to Paul Rory from Scotland. Responding to an interview after his defeat, Zhang said, I was mad, sad, everything combined. I was crying with disappointment. But later, as the reporter asked, how long do you think this will haunt you? He said, well, I guess forever. But I mean, who will remember this in 100 years? One must wonder how he managed his life after blowing up the most significant life opportunity, a historical win that could have made him the Open champion and a hero of French golf. What would he have been thinking on the plane back home when the media instantly changed their position from anticipation for the win to mocking and criticizing his loss? Unlike the worst case scenario anyone could imagine, Something amazing happened to him. Over a hundred children came to see him at his golf school at his hometown after the tournament, which had more or less 15 kids in normal season in total. Perhaps to the eyes, Bang the Bell, who was swinging the club boldly without hesitation, looked cool on TV. If he had been blaming himself for the loss, regretting every decision he made at the time, he would have wasted his life on remorse and never been happy again. But having found a new meaning in life teaching children, Bang the Bell says, things happen very often for a reason. 
Either you can find a rational explanation or you just have to cope with it. And now, which part of yourself is going to come out? Who are you really? What are you made of? Whether in sports or life, where there are winners, there will be losers. The winner is likely to rise to the surface and attract attention and envy, but the loser disappears below the surface. However, there are many cases where the defeat does not come from a lack of ability or effort. More often than we think, the loss comes from an instant misjudgment or short of luck. Whether you become a winner or a loser, the most important part that comes into your life is how you handle what you achieve and what you make out of it. John Van de Belt found his meaning in life after the bitter defeat and said to a reporter later in an interview, I would be remembered by the generation who have seen me, the generation of now who are 20 years old and on tour has no idea who I am. And that's the way it should be. Can you tell me who won the Open in 1907? Zhang Bangdebel's story shows us a loser could also become a great success with the power of positiveness and eagerness for self-discovery. Some say Zhang had to find the excuse or make compromise with bitter reality after the loss. However, it is not the variation of others that matters, but never to underestimate even the little things and make the efforts to be different by being true to oneself. Zhang Bangdebel the so-called worst loser in golf history found his true meaning of existence outside the tournaments. It is not in winning the major games or gaining popularity. It's in the life he has built. And the spirit will be alive in his life as the meaning he created.